Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. A first of its kind boat show was organized by the State Disaster Response Force in Assam's Guwahati city, along with gymnastics and light show with inflatable tar lights. Large number of people from all across the city gathered in the premises of the Ghulipukhuri in the city. It was an enthralling performance by the commando force of SDRF team and the gymnasts that left the crowd spellbound. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, along with other state dignitaries, laid the foundation stone of two river bridges, namely Barak and Makru bridges in Tameng Long district. As informed by the official of NHIDCL, the construction of the bridges has already started and is likely to get completed by December 2019. The construction work of the bridges came as a part of necessity to have permanent bridges in Barak and Makru. Recently, a regional consultation on child rights gaps and challenges in the northeastern states was held at Imperial Hall in Imphal. Addressing the gathering, Chief Justice N. Koteshwar said that the law relating to children are evolving slowly and gradually and is taking shape in which various organizations and stakeholders are involved. Later, Social Welfare Minister Nemcha Kipken drew the attention of the gatherings to pledge for the protection of the children, as without the welfare of the children, there will be no future for the society at large. Recently, Union Minister of State for Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare, Gajendra Singh, on his visit to the state of Mizoram, inaugurated the Mudra promotion campaign in Kulikon YMA Hall in Aizol. With an aim to encourage young entrepreneurs to set up their ventures, promote digital payments and bring citizens under the banking sector, the flagship program is being organized in 50 locations across the country. The campaign comprises of the Jandhan Yojana, Stand Up India, Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana, etc. and other schemes related to Digital India.